Welcome once again to Brownells Tech Tips. In this video, this one's going to focus more towards uh, IT professionals or people who do a lot of work on computers. I'm going to show you how to make an all-in-one image for a Windows 7 install image and how to make your own all-in-one install USB drive. You're going to start out, you need to bring up your web browser and you're going to go to www.heidoc.net forward slash Joomla, J-O-O-M-L-A forward slash technology hyphen science forward slash Microsoft forward slash 14 hyphen Windows hyphen 7 hyphen direct hyphen download hyphen links. And it'll take, take you to this hei.doc.net or hi doc and of course downloading the images is not illegal nor against the law you do need the activation key which most systems will have the activation key with them and it will work for the install as long as they have the activation key everything's good and you're going to scroll down until you find the one right here Windows 7 Professional x86 Service Pack 1 and Windows 7 Professional x86 Service Pack 1. You see how it says old right there? That's not quite the one we're looking for. The newest one's going to be this one right here. But there's one problem. You see Chinese, Danish, and Dutch. I haven't quite scrolled down far enough. Now you see the English USA, Finnish, and French. So now you want to scroll down until you find the most recent Windows 7 32-bit and 64-bit ISOs, which those right there say old, so we need to look up. Let's see, there's Windows 7 Ultimate, x86, SP1, U. And you got that one right there that's the x17594.63.ISO. ISO and x17594.65.iso. These two are the two that you're looking for that you want to download. And to download them, all you have to do is just right click, go to Save Link As. And then right there you can save it as ISO. As you can see, I already have the two of them downloaded. So once you get those downloaded, next you need to find Win AIO Maker Professional and it's going to be forums.mydigitallife.info forward slash threads forward slash 29178 hyphen win AIO hyphen maker hyphen professional hyphen the hyphen all hyphen in hyphen one hyphen windows hyphen setup hyphen solution and you're going to scroll down on this page until you see the download official direct server you want to click on that and then of course save the zip file and then you can go ahead and close the extra window and close the win AIO maker and then you're going to want to go to www.7forums.com forward slash tutorials forward slash 31541 hyphen windows hyphen 7 hyphen USB hyphen DVD hyphen download hyphen tool dot HTML This one will also give you the direct link to download the Windows 7 Service Pack 1 ISOs. Those are the most recent ISOs. So you'll have the most recent images for your Windows install. You're going to scroll down here until you find this little download button. And then you're going to download the USB tool. Okay, now that we have those downloaded we can go ahead and close out of this and I've already installed the USB tool so I'm going to go ahead and drag the icon over okay and the USB tool install is actually very very simple there's really not anything extra that it tries to install due to the fact that it actually is a Microsoft tool you're going to want to unzip the WinIO maker and 
And to make your all-in-one, simply go to the WinIO Maker and start it. So you're going to pop up the user account control. That's no big deal. Just click yes or OK. And this is the screen you'll come to. Ignore everything except for this button down here that says Auto AIO. Click that button. It says Select Folder to work with ISOs. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and use the Download Folder. Users. CV Lab. Downloads. Okay. And then it says right here, select exact x86 ISO. The x86 is going to be the smaller number. It's going to be the 59463.ISO. And the 59465 is the 64-bit. So now we're going to select the 64-bit ISO. And then if you want to be able to do the 64-bit recovery mode, go ahead and enable that. It's going to say Windows 7 only. No big deal. That's all the installer is anyways and then just click start compilation uh, the folder has to be empty that's fine we'll just create a folder new folder we're going to name this all in one let's go ahead and just put win seven all in one there we go go back to the program Nope, that was right. CV. CV Lab. Downloads. Win 7 all in 1. There we go. Now it's going to extract the ISOs and combine them. Okay, and once it's completed the process of combining, it'll pop up saying success creating AIO ISO. It'll give you the directory that you selected, Windows AIO image.iso. Just click OK. Now you can close that. Close that program. Let's go to our Windows All in One. And we're going to go ahead and rename this Win7 All in One. And when I say All in One, I mean All in One. This has both a 32 bit and 64 bit all versions and if you download the ultimate with Windows 7 the disks there's a special file on there that tells it specific what version it is that you're installing this bypasses that file every single disk actually has every version 32-bit or 64-bit of Windows 7 on it the 64-bit disk will have all versions of Windows 7 64-bit I mean uh, Windows 7 home basic home premium ultimate the 32 bit will have starter home home premium and ultimate this will combine all of them change that file over to reflect all of them and you can now install any of the versions of windows 7 32 bit or 64 bit on any system all you have to have is the uh, key the registration key and I highly encourage you know you play fair if you're working on someone else's system install the version that they have the key for use their key everything's fine um, if you have a Windows 7 ultimate key you can install Windows 7 ultimate use the key if you don't have a key for the version that you're installing don't try to pirate the software purchase the key from Microsoft so that way you have a legit valid version of Windows 7 now to test drive this, I'm going to use Magic ISO, mount the ISO to a dr false drive, and we'll go ahead and tell it now. You're going to see a lot of times when it tries to do the startup, it's going to error out. That's fine, that's because the Windows starter, the auto load is trying to load the 64-bit installer when it really needs to load the 32-bit you can do that yourself you'll see there's the 32 there's the 64-bit just double click on the setup.exe 32-bit and you can see right there's the Windows install now 
and we're going to go through this as though we were doing an actual install of Windows 7 just so that way I can get to the point of showing you what versions of Windows are actually there. See how it says setup is starting. And I'm not going to worry about the latest updates. So right there, there's Windows 7 Starter, Home Basic, Home Premium, Professional, Ultimate, All 32-bit, and then 64-bit you got Home Basic, Home Premium, Professional, Ultimate. There's all nine of the major versions of Windows 7 except enterprise specific for businesses. So now that we know the image is working, we'll go ahead and unmount that image. And next step is to create the USB to be able to use a USB drive to do an install of any version of Windows 7. Okay, and once you have the USB tool installed, just run it. User account control will pop up. Just click yes. Step one, choose the ISO. Browse. Downloads. And Windows all in one. Open. Next. Step two, choose the media. We're going to use a USB device. Step three, insert USB device. There, now it shows it. You'll select begin copying. And then of course, if there's anything on it that you, you know, you're going to use this drive specifically for install, so you'll just select erase USB device. It'll erase it and copy all the files over. As you can tell in the copying process, the copy process can take quite a while, so I will catch you shortly. This is a very crucial point. You can see step 4 4 it's creating a bootable USB drive, so you can actually boot from that drive to do the Windows 7 install. This is very, very crucial, especially for a fresh install when Windows isn't already present or you're trying to do a fresh install at boot up because either it's the system's corrupt or whatever reason you need to do a fresh clean install depending on your system and the speed of the USB drive you're using it can take a while to copy the files over and once it's done it'll pop up saying right there bootable USB device created successfully so you can close that browse to the disk you'll see that it has a Windows logo next to it and now just like a little while ago with the uh, disk image poof right here you have the full file set up and it's ready for a clean install it can boot from uh, a fresh boot up and it's a bootable drive plus you can also just pop it in when you pop it in it's going to try to start set up 64 you don't want it starting that. Instead, you'll run the setup.exe 32 bit. And uh, from that point, you now have a all in one ISO image and an all in one bootable USB drive. <laughs> Trying to set it up for Ready Boost. And as you can see, this is an 8 gig USB drive. It takes pretty good amount of space, 4.13 gigabytes, at least 3.3 gig free, so you can copy over any other extra software drivers or anything like that that you need to be able to do the clean install and get the system fully up and running. Again, I highly encourage um, don't pirate the Windows software 
if you don't have a key you're trying to install Windows 7 Ultimate and all you have is a key to home premium purchase a copy of the uh, registration key for the right version of Windows that you're installing or try to stick with what you already have the registration key for granted yes Windows can be a tid smidget expensive for a registration key but at least like that you have a 100% valid copy genuine copy of Windows 7 whatever version you install 32-bit or 64-bit and again if you're an IT professional you do a lot of work on computers for customers this is a really good source to have an all-in-one image to be able to install any 32-bit or 64-bit version of Windows 7 and to use their registration key to put back into the system so that way you can take care of whatever problems they're having do a clean install get their computer back up and running and be good to go um, if you know anybody that has system issues that needs help by all means direct them to my videos you can subscribe to keep up with new videos uploaded to YouTube and as always watch like and share and have a good day.